people that do this, yeah, try it. <laughs> it's not easy at all. Welcome back. My name is Shola. So excited to have you back on our YouTube channel. It's been a while. We have a lot in store for you. Today I'll be taking you through some spiritual books that have helped shape my life. They are great books. They are books that I believe will be of great impact to you. first book is Purpose Driven Life. This is a fantastic book. This is a book written by Rick Warren. Rick Warren takes us to a 40 day channel in which every reader is expected to read a chapter per day. It's a book that every man should read, every woman should read because it's a que the question of purpose is something that we all have to ask ourselves from point to point and Rick Warren refers us to the fact that you ca a man cannot determine his purpose without going to the source and the source of all purpose is God. And so this is a fantastic book. I want to encourage you to read it. Another chapter in the book which talks about the fact that you are not an accident. It talks about how God has specifically made you for a purpose. You don't need to copy anyone to, to make impact. There's a reason why you act the way you act. There's a reason why you have the temperament you have. My second book is a book called Growing Up Spiritually. It's a book written by Kenneth Hagin. Oh, Kenneth Hagin is a fantastic writer. He does not just write. Kenneth Hagin takes us through the scriptures, gives scriptural references for whatever he's saying. Growing up spiritually, Kenneth Hagin explained the different types of Christians. Um, the one that we, that we call the natural man, the carnal man, the spiritual man. All we want to be is the spiritual man. It's very important that as Christians, we don't operate from the flesh, that we always operate from the spirit. A major example Kenneth Hagin gave it with respect to this is a new convert who joined the church a while ago and every weekend he goes to visit this new convert and she comes to church the following week. But the next week, because she expects him to come visit her, she doesn't come to church. Then he was going to visit again, then she comes to church. After a while, Kenneth Hagin said he had to ask himself that, is there really need for him to continue doing this? And the reason why he said this was because as Christians, a Christian cannot remain babies. A Christian needs to grow from baby to adulthood. There's a stage where one is a baby, but growth is expected from each and every one of us. That baby, Kenneth Hagin called the baby whom the Bible referred to ever learning. You're always preaching the word, they're just learning, but they're not acting on it. Number three is a book called How to Be Led by the Spirit. It's also a book written by Kenneth Hagin. As Christians, we, it's important that we always hear from God. It's important that we're always able to recognize God's voice because the Bible even says, my sheep hear my voice. So we need to be able to hear when God is talking to us. Even one of the greatest prophets in the Bible Samuel. I mean, we all remember the story of Samuel. The first time God tried to speak to Samuel, he thought Eli was the one calling upon him. He did this the first time, the second time, and it even took the third time for Eli to perceive that, oh, it's God trying to talk to Samuel. So it's important for us to know that, yes, sometimes we may not be able to recognize God's voice, but when we, when we ask for God's direction, when we trust on God to be able to hear him, he talks to us and we're able to hear him. And it's important that we hear God because uh, the Bible says there are many voices, but none is without significance. So it means that even the devil is trying to talk to us, but when we're able to recognize God's voice, we're fine. The next book is a book called Believer's Authority, still on Kenneth Hagin. I love Kenneth Hagin so much. Um, as Christians, we need to understand that God has given us so many authorities and we need to have an understanding about these authorities to be able to utilize those authorities. In Believer's Authorities, Kenneth Hagin takes us through the scriptures, showing us the different authority God has given us in the spiritual realm. And another example Kenneth Hagin gave was one time when he was talking, when he had a vision and he was talking to Christ and the devil was there trying to distract the devil was making all sorts of noise but Kenneth Hagin said he was surprised because Jesus didn't stop he didn't try to stop to bind the devil because Kenneth Hagin felt that oh he was expecting Jesus to stop the conversation and just bind the devil but when the devil just wouldn't stop Kenneth Hagin himself got angry and had to had to bind the devil and he had to ask Jesus that why did he stop and that was when Jesus told him about that authority that you've been given you need we need to use that authority ourselves okay number five is a book called tongues as Christians we just need to speak in tongues Makali <laughs> by Chattis <laughs> 
Five on the list is tongues, also by Kenneth Hagin. As Christians, we need to speak in tongues. The Bible says that we will pray in the Spirit and we will pray in our own understanding. The same Bible also still speaks about the fact that whenever we pray in the Spirit, we pray the exact will of God as we sometimes do really not know what we should say. But whenever we pray in the Spirit, we are never out of out of words we're never out of the spirit we're praying the exact will of god we're covering everything we need to cover and that's what that is very essential that's what kenneth Egan has covered in this book and one thing kenneth Egan did in this book that really blessed me was the fact that he, he raised all sort of questions that have been raised against speaking in tongues corrected a lot of misconceptions i remember when i had to go buy this book when i said when i caught myself speaking in tongues having received the life of christ and i, I caught myself speaking in tongues and uh, i'd heard a lot of misconceptions about speaking in tongues but reading this book it's answered a whole lot of questions a lot of misconceptions and it's just a perfect book and i would recommend this book to you book six is finish strong it's by steve fire oh i love this book book six talks about how yes as christians we start on a particular set of frequency but it is very essential for us to have it at the back of our mind that is not just about starting it's about how well we finish so finishing strong is not just how we start as a christian it's not a situation of we having to look back and say that oh those years i was on fire for christ but the question is what has happened now <laughs> so being a christian we need to constantly be on, be on fire for christ and that's what steve fire answered in that book by saying that oh how we finish is as important as how we start the last but not the least is a book called mountain moving faith i love this book so much this book is very relevant to uh, this month which is our month of faith is also a book by kenneth Egan. you know how, how as christians we always think that oh we, we need to build up faith before we can request thing from god i'm paraphrasing now which says that if you have faith even like that of a mustard seed you can say to a mountain be moved from here to there and it's going to obey you as much as you don't doubt it in your heart and one of the things kenneth Egan tried to explain to us here is that see a mustard seed is something that we cannot even hold with it with the thumb of our hand it's very small it looks so insignificant that's the thing as a christian you already have that level of faith because for you to receive the life of christ in the first place it takes faith all we need to move mountains mountain in not necessarily in the literal sense means those difficult situations you already have faith to change that situation you already have faith to get that thing that you've been trusting god for so we don't need to build a momentum of faith before we can have access to god the truth about it is the only way we can build our faith through god's word and yes we stay with god's word but there are some spiritual generals who have written on those books on god's word linking it to the scripture we can learn from this we can learn from a spiritual general who perhaps has built his faith for over 40 years he has learned the spiritual journey it has taken him a spiritual journey to learn certain things by reading these books it, we, we, we just learn the things that took someone 40 years within a week the thing about this book is we don't need to rush them we can do just like purpose driven life where Rick Warren had suggested that we read a chapter per day. You can read a chapter per day. You can dedicate a month for each book and say, oh, in the month of October, I'm going to be reading Purpose Driven Life. In the month of November, I'm going to be reading this. And before you know it, within a year, you've covered a whole lot of things. Purpose Driven Life, I really recommend it for you. All the books being mentioned, growing up spiritually, these are books that will help your faith. They've really helped my faith. They still help my faith. I'll give Give you an example some weeks ago i just realized that i started hearing people say oh you're too gentle you're too gentle you're too gentle and it started affecting my identity <laughs> and all i had to do was to open chapter two of purpose driven life which talks about the fact that you are not a mistake which talks about how god has made you in a certain way for a particular purpose and when i read it i felt good about it i was reminded about my identity this can happen to you it necessarily may not be an issue of identity it can be anything get knowledge thanks for watching i so hope you've been blessed by this video i want to encourage you to check all our other videos i'm sure you'll be blessed i want to also encourage you to follow us on all our social media handles we share daily nuggets which will definitely help your faith 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.